after a campaign of heat and dust, allegations over financial packages and much political drama, it's now finally official. India's 13th president will be Pranab Mukherjee. The result was a foregone conclusion, especially after Mamta Banerjee announced her support last week. In a sense, the only suspense was over how much he would win by. He crossed the 7 lakh barrier out of a total of just over 10 lakh votes. That's just below 70%. P.A. Sangma hit by cross-voting in Karnataka. Also, none of the northeast states voting for him. He managed just over 3 lakh votes. Pranam Mukherjee crossed the halfway mark just after 4 on Sunday evening. Within minutes, top leaders started arriving at the president-elect's house. Mr Mukherjee will now be sworn in on Wednesday at 11.30 in the morning. Speaking to NDTV Sunil Prabhu, Mr Mukherjee said he was grateful to have been elected, a sentiment he echoed when he spoke to the media. At this stage, I would like to express my deep gratitude and appreciation. And I would like to thank the people of this great country for conferring this distinction by electing me to this high office. No one really expected any major surprises while counting of votes. Pranab Mukherjee was expected to win quite comfortably. But then the turning point came once the Karnataka votes were counted. In a BJP rule state, Pranab Mukherjee managed to get more votes than P.S. Sangma. To be precise, Pranab Mukherjee got 117 votes and P.S. Sangma got 103 votes quite clearly indicating that there had been cross-voting. So while Mr. Mukherjee's managers celebrated their Karnataka moment, P.A. Sangma didn't take to it very kindly. Well, everybody knows that the so-called economic packages have, have gone in a very big way. You know, We all know that there has been some threats be it Mulayam Singh, be it Mayabati, you know, be it Chief Minister of Nagaland. P.A. Sangma's desperate bid to become India's first tribal president has meant that his presidential campaign has been marked by one controversy after the other. In the same breath as he congratulated Pranam Mukherjee on his win, he also talked about possibly challenging his election in the Supreme Court over the Office of Profit Controversy. One thing's for sure. Sangma has ensured that the 2012 presidential election will not be forgotten in a hurry. I received much more than I have given them. I will try to justify the modest way as I can to be of the trustworthy of my people. The stage is set for Pranam Mukherjee to become the 13th president of India. Clearly, the focus in the next few hours will be to make that acceptance speech to set the trend for his role as the new president of India. And as he told NDTV, he wants to thank and justify that position. In New Delhi, with Bureau Import, Sunil Prabhu, NDTV. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app. Fully optimized for retina display. Full screen view. Faster response time. And Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.